looking up the number of days, that's 29,000. <laughs> yeah, like Zuma. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best Zuma impersonation. Okay, how about 701,280 hours? That's a long time. A hell of a long time. If you want it in seconds, that's 2,524,000. 608,000 seconds, and I included the leap years. <laughs> I'm sharp. Come from that woman there, sitting on that side. I don't know why my back is turned to her. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll better address. Hey, what's up, Abhishek? Why I may not say it much, but I sincerely do appreciate all that you do for me, even if you struggle doing it. You always have time and energy to do the simplest yet kindest things that make me a perfect cup of tea while I'm studying or find ways to help me eat better. You are precious to many people and it's not hard to see why. Everyone, the majority of my friends, are so jealous that I have a, a grandmother like you. I mean with pride at how lucky I am to have you. Your warm hugs, they always can somehow make any bad day better. I love you that. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Uh, I'm going to talk about the most important thing that Nani brings to all of our lives first, her cooking. I remember that as a little girl, if I knew I was going to Nani's house, I wouldn't eat at home before leaving. I would arrive at Unit 1 and immediately check what's cooking on the stove, what's in the fridge, and store it in all the cupboards, much to my mom's dismay. Nani was convinced I wasn't being fed at home. Um, even in my adult life, I brag about Nani's cooking sometimes to my detriment. Um, I went to meet my fiancé's parents a couple of years ago, and his mother wanted to know what to cook for me. I told him that it doesn't matter what she cooked, it wasn't going to live up to my nani's food. That didn't go down so well. Other than being a phenomenal cook, nani has also been a trusted advisor, whether I sought her counsel or not. For example, I once introduced, introduced nani to a boyfriend from the university. After he left, nani said, you know, Ken, you're not going to like what I'm going to say, but uh, you shouldn't date this boy. He comes from a mad family. <laughs> because, because our family is so normal. Um, in all seriousness, though, Lani, you are and always have been my safe place, my sounding board, my confidant, and my comfort. I know I don't say it enough, and I take for granted that you know this. But I am so thankful for you and all that you have done and all that you continue to do not just for me, but for our whole family. You always tell me that I am such a lovely, gentle child with a good heart. And I want to say that I am who I am, not just because of mum and dad, but equally because of you. I love you so much. Happy birthday. For example, could follow that trajectory and hit you just perfectly. <laughs> and my friends, uh, if you don't want the spoon, then don't eat. You can eat. Hitler, do not believe a word that the grandchildren say. But I'm sure all of y'all know that. The way we were raised and the way the grandparents, you know, come in with the kids isn't, you know, they will. The way the grandparents act for the grandkids is entirely different. There is nothing that they can do that is wrong. So, for example, while you were not entitled to sweets and so on when you were young, it is their duty. It is their duty to spoil the child. So, remember that. Don't get involved in those fights. You're asking for unnecessary trouble. If the cake is cut, I can't see from where I am right now. Yeah. I've lost my excellent vision. No. If it is cut, you can now see for well, she's no, enjoying the glass. But it is not yet cut. <laughs> is it cut? It's cut. It's cut. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, those people there in that row there. <laughs> I think it was evident 
that you're not only a mother to your children, but their friends, your nieces and nephews, your grandchildren, and our friends. You are our nurturer, our mentor, and our safe place. I know you are often frustrated by your ill health, but remember, you are 80, and you still stretch yourself more than you should. Thus, my wish for you is better days. May you have the strength to be positive, when days are grim, may you enjoy as many special times. May you always be filled with immense amount of joy. We love you. Happy birthday. Cheers. Hi, Bobby. Uh, wishing you the best of luck in another 80 years. May you be blessed with good health and happiness and prosperity. And we we'll hope to see you in more uh, birthdays. We will certainly want to see you for your 85th birthday. And she's run away. <laughs> Congratulations, Mira, on your special day. We marvel at the way you have managed through the years, bringing up the children under very trying circumstances. You've done well, you can hold your head high. May you have good health in the rest, for the rest of your life. Enjoy the day. Thanks for having me here and also bringing so many others with whom you have shared this evening. Thank you. Bye, Sudama. Happy birthday, Mom. We love you, Mom. Here you go, John. <laughs> love you, love.
Dharma. We wish you many happy returns of the day. We hope you will be happy and strong. May God bless you and keep you. And may we continue our friendship for many years. I love you very much. God bless you and keep you. Thank you. We love you. My darling sister Vida, all the very best. May this day be a day to remember for now and forever. With love and special enlightenment to a glorious year ahead and many years to come. Live every day like there is no tomorrow. Life is a beautiful journey. Just sit back and enjoy the right to share. To share peace and joy, life is a gift. Vida, we are friends for over 62 years, and I'm so happy we are in constant touch with each another. Every day we don't forget to phone each another. Vida, take care of your health. Would love always from Primla and your niece Shama from Clear Sky. Shama and I love you, Vida. All the best, and your party was wonderful. Keep, keep up the good work with your children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Love you, Ma. Bye. To my dearest darling, Kwa. Kwa, since my dad's gone, you've been my pillar of strength. You've been with me through thick and thin, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I treasure every moment with you. I love you lots. And I'm so blessed to have you in my life. God bless you, and I love you. another 10 more years when she turns 90 I'll be back this year and if she's lucky I might even come when she's 85 okay. love you too much all the best and I was very very happy to come and spend this time with you okay. what do you want uh, this is a year the 58 vintage is very good. We all born in the 58, very good vintage. 58! What am I born in the same year? When did you turn 58? Not yet, I'm still younger than you. Are you going to take the camera? Yeah, I'm videoing. Still videoing? Oh. Uh, 1958 was the best vintage. You know? You can see we don't age. We're still the same. Yeah, 1958, we're still the same. Like babies. You can baby. No, I was going to say something. <laughs> The minds and brains of babies, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I yes. Good one, Okay. Happy birthday, Mother Madonna. Okay. Happy birthday, Mother Madonna. Okay. You old coat. Get <laughs> <laughs> up, You made your house my house. Your kitchen and your potato. It was fantastic food for us. And your care and love. Never a hard work. Thank you for everything you gave me. Love you. Love you. It was nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a photo. Thank you. It was nice. <laughs> it's gonna feel even nicer. <laughs>